guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It has snowed here. It has snowed. <sighs> uh, so obviously it's in November. So we had our first snowfall and I've been ordering lots of things and I shouldn't be, but I am. And yeah, something is stuck in my eye. Oh, mom. Anyway, um, I was going to do this in separate videos, but then I was like, I might as well do just one big haul. Uh, so that's what I'm I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one big haul. Uh, so I ordered from Sephora and Ulta. Um, I do have a whole nother like package coming from Sephora from the VIB uh, sale, but that hasn't come yet, and I want to film. So I will do my other two orders right now. So let's start with my Sephora haul because the first thing I've been wanting this palette, a lot of it's palettes. So get ready, guys. I've been wanting this palette since it came out, and I was like, no, no, I'm not going to get it, I'm not going to get it, and I just kept telling myself, I'm not going to get it. I got it. Uh, I kept telling myself, I don't need it, I've got enough palettes, I'm not going to buy it. And then I bought it. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, so it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. So it comes in this gorgeous box, which is kind of like this... You know the NARS packaging? That's what this box feels like. It has all the information on the back, including the colors in the palette. And this is what the palette actually looks like. It has... It has the, like, velvet packaging, like the modern renaissance and the subculture. I have quickly become a very big fan of Anastasia. Before, I was like, it's overrated, like, it's too expensive. Each of these palettes, like this, the Modern Renaissance, and the Subculture palette, are $55 Canadian. Um, makeup in Canada is not cheap. Uh, it's definitely a lot cheaper in the States. You can get it for cheaper. Um, even with the exchange rate, it will be cheaper. When they ship it to Canada, I guess our shipping laws and stuff just bump up the price and the markup is ridiculous. One thing can be selling, like this sells for what, 42 US in Sephora US, $55 Canadian in the Canadian Sephora. So it's just, makeup's not cheap here at all, but let's just, <sighs> yes. Oh, and I also want to say I bought all of this. None of it's sent to me. I don't get things sent to me. I'm not on any PR lists. Or anything so it is all purchased with my own money and yeah let's just keep going <laughs> so this is actually what it looks like I have not used it yet I haven't used anything but one thing from this entire haul so this is the colors I was like I'm not gonna get it like what am I gonna do with this I need to stop looking at my TV what am I gonna do with it like it's just not colors I'm gonna use and I still bought it like these are actually gorgeous colors, and I can't wait to play with this palette. I don't know why, it's just calling to me, and I was like, not gonna get it, as I said. And then I saw the other thing I bought in this purchase, and I was like, I might as well throw this in, like, let's just do it. So I bought it. I will do a review video for you, I just want to test it out quite a bit before I do that full review like I did with the Modern Renaissance. Um, I used that one quite a bit before I gave you my opinions on it, so I'm going to do that with this as well. The Subculture, not my favorite palette. Uh, I barely used it, so I, I need to play with it more to like get a grip on whether I'm going to keep it. But I really hope this turns out like the Modern Renaissance. Haven't really watched any reviews on it. I think I've watched one or two, and that's it. So... Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, you're gonna see a video about this. And then the next thing I got, <laughs> this is another thing I was like, it's overrated. I'm not buying it whatsoever. And then I bought it. Like, what is wrong with me? Uh, okay, so <laughs> this popped up on my Instagram and then I was like, is anyone buying it for me for Christmas? Because I don't have any of these palettes. And... And everyone said, no, I'm not buying you that. So, I bought it. Uh, you essentially, the price of it, I can't remember what the price of it is. Oh, so it's four palettes. I don't have any of these palettes. And I've wanted to try the last palette quite a bit. But I wasn't about to spend $64 on each palette. No. 
mm -mm. not gonna happen because I've heard great things but I've also heard terrible things and I was just like I have colors like that I don't need that see where that got me I bought the naked foursome vault I really wanted to try where is it <laughs> the naked heat which is what's on my eyes today this is the only thing I've used from this haul um, I really wanted to try the Naked palette, and then you also get Naked 2 and 3 as well. So it comes with all, well, you don't get Naked Smoky, I think. But it comes with the Naked palettes, and I was just like, I'm not going to buy them. Like, they're $64 each. I'm, I just, I can't bring myself to do that. I do have to save for other things, so I'm not going to do that. The price of this, I do know, I calculated it. You get, oh, because each of these is $64 each here in Canada. I calculated it, and you literally get one whole palette plus probably a few shades of another palette for free. I believe you're saving $70 by buying this. So I was like, yes. And funny story is, I'm very talkative today. I was just like, mommy. I was trying to open it, and I was like, Mom, they glued it. What the heck? Like, I can't get it open. And then she's like, she's just like, Tanya, it slides out. Yeah. It slides right out. I'm just going to try and hold this because one of them likes to fall out with it. So it slides out to look like this. And each one, as you can see, has a little pull ribbon to pop pop it out so you can grab it. Oops. This is hard to do when you're not facing the thing. So you just pull it out like that. And my mom also noticed there's a big hole in the center. She's like, if you can just like put it like that, you can put brushes or something in there. That's a brilliant idea. If they stay in there when it stands up. I'm excited to try these out. I might do... A review on the one two and three palettes and then do a whole separate review on the heat palette just because the three other ones are a lot older than the heat if you want to see individual reviews let me know I have a lot of palettes to try out if you want to see those reviews coming up just let me know uh, just cuz there is so many palettes I don't know if you want to see a video on each palette uh, if you do great let me know if you don't let me know which ones you do want to see, because I don't want to make all these videos and then no one be interested. So that is all I got from Sephora. So this box, this lovely box, arrived at my house two weeks ago now? No, last week. So just over a week ago it arrived. Everything was here. If you saw my Instagram, some things did not come out very nicely, um, but I will get into that after. So then this arrived, which was perfectly fine, great, got my order, and then this arrived this week. This is from Ulta. This is a whole nother set of the first order. So I got two of everything that I ordered. So, me being me, I actually emailed them and I was like, hey, like, you sent two orders, two of the same orders to me. And they were a little confused. They're like, so you're saying you received the same order twice? And I was like, yeah. Well, Ulta, guess, customer service, there we go, customer service is wonderful. They're super nice. And they were just like, they came back with, thank you for being honest. Let's be honest. I didn't want to keep it and then bad karma come back around. Uh, so that's why I did let them know. A lot of people are like, why'd you even tell them? Just You should have kept it. That's not me. I would feel guilty. I would have felt like a shoe was about to drop any moment. So I did let them know. And they were like, thank you for being honest. You don't have to send anything back. You can do what you like with it. And I hope you enjoy it. And again, thank you for being honest. They were super nice. Props to you, Ulta Customer Service. I forget her name. I think her name is L'Oreal. <laughs> but she was super nice and I got a whole new order so I'm going to stick a few of those into the giveaway which 
this whole bag here is actually full of stuff for a giveaway. Um, I will do a giveaway once I reach like 100 subscribers. Um, and yeah, so I got over $200 with makeup for free from Ulta. Because they're really, what are they going to do with it? Either they're going to try and make me ship it back, which I would have if they said ship it back. Or, uh, and then if I did ship it back, they just have to get rid of it because of hygiene reasons. They don't know if I've opened it, they don't know if I've used it. So it would all be going in the garbage anyways. Or they tr can try and charge my credit card again, which is not allowed because I only agreed to the one charge. So, really, the good customer service, because it wasn't on my part, it was a glitch on their part, that they gave it to me. So, it's amazing. Like, I find that pretty cool. They're very gracious about it, and I get a lot more makeup. <laughs> Alright, so let's get into that haul. So, let's start with the, pa uh, the lip product I got. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, so if you watched my Instagram, you would have seen all these already. So the first thing I got was the Ofra Liquid Lipstick Trio in, I believe it's Espresso. Okay, so these are the three colors. There's a beautiful red, there's a like mauvey brown, and then a like dusty rose color. So the red is Milan. And then this one is Amsterdam. Oops. And then Mocha. So I got these because I have the Kathleen Lights uh, collaboration with these guys and I loved it. It was actually when they still had their older packaging. But I was just excited to get these because I just love the formula and I wanted to try more of them. Because um, I believe my Kathleen Lights ones are actually bad now. I didn't get to use them up fully, so I do probably have to throw those away. But now I can try these, and I'm super excited about it. Let's not knock that over now. And then the other ones I got were from Dose of Colors, because I, once again, have never tried Dose of Colors. So I was like, I want it, I want it. So the first one I got is called Stone. And these are their matte liquid lips. Oops. And this is what... It looks like, I thought it was fatter, I'm not going to lie. So this is the color that it is, if you can see that. It's another kind of like dusty rose nude. <laughs> uh, oh, does that click? Oh, that's nice, you hear it click when it's fully closed. And then the second one I got, this is what I was kind of mad at. This one literally came like this, it came open. And battered. And I was like, are you joking me? And I don't know if customs went into my box or not. If Ulta automatically has like the blue tape on it. I'm not sure. But I, I wasn't impressed by how some of the packages came. Um, but this one is Plum Queen. And it's a dark purpley brown, uh, brown color. So that's what it looks like. This one looks a bit chunky compared to the other one. But it looks like a gorgeous color, so I should have actually used this. Why did I use my Diva on my lips? Hmm. And if you guys want a review on any of this, please just let me know down below, and I will do that for you. I got these, which are the 35OS and 35O, sorry, OS and OM. So this is all shimmer, this is all matte, they're the same colors. Instead of just getting the whole palette. I can't remember which one it was, I think it was this one also came open like this and it was like it's ripped it's battered I don't know if Ulta did that I don't know if customs did that either way I'm not impressed when I get product like that at all because this box as wonderful as Ulta customer service is this box was horribly packed so I don't know if customs went through it and did that or if they did that but either way things were jiggling they were shaking I'm surprised something didn't break honestly like I'm not that like picky like I don't care how you pack it as long as things do not break and things are not open when I get them so this is Morphe's packaging now it's very sleek it's very nice 
Uh, my other one just honestly had like the red Morphe across it. And then uh, they have all the stuff on the back as well. One thing I do like about Morphe though is that it comes in two sheets of bubble wrap, which is really nice. So this is the OS one. Um, if you didn't know, Morphe recently went into Ulta, which was the whole purpose of this order. So this, let's take this off. This is the 35 OS palette. Don't know if you can really see that. But this, if you remember like a year or so ago, the 35 O palette was all the rage. Jaclyn Hill was raving about it, which like a bunch of other people then raved about it. I love Jaclyn Hill, don't get me wrong. I love her. Um, but I was like, I don't really need it like at the time when I can only order from Morphe. The amount of customs and duties I have to pay on makeup is ridiculous. Coming into Canada, I never got hit with them it a few years ago. And then this past year, and a uh, year and a half actually, customs every time. Like, what the heck? No matter how little I order. It's ridiculous. It cost me an extra, like, $40 on top of shipping. So Ulta, actually, you can pay customs rate on the site because they go through border free or something like that. So I paid customs right there, so I didn't have to pay customs when I got it. But this is the 35 OS palette. I'm seriously loving these two colors right down here. So I'm going to be playing with this a lot. If you want a combined review of the OS and OM, let me know because uh, they are the same colors. So we can do something with that instead of doing two separate ones. So this is the all matte version of the other one. As you can see, the colors are very close. I'm just a freak with makeup and decided to get both palettes instead of the one. Um, but I've swatched that color and it was really nice. Really nice. So I can't actually wait to play with this because it is, I'm very, uh, I never thought I would be, but I'm turning into very much a warm toned eye person. Never thought I would be, guys. Never thought I would be. Yeah, but that is the 35 OM palette. And then the next palette I got, oh, was it this one? This one's pretty battered too, if you can see that on the edge. But this is the 3502 palette, which is, I believe, the newest palette. And I was like, hey, let's throw that right on in the buggy too. Me and my spending habits, guys. Oh, I need to break that. So, as I said, I got all of this a second time. So I'm trying to decide <laughs> what to give people for Christmas and then what to put in the um, giveaway. Alright. So this is this palette. As you can see, there's definite... I know they're rebranding, but as you can tell, like there's a definite difference between the two uh, logos. I actually like this one more. I'm not sure why, because it's more simple, but... Yeah, so this is 3502, and another thing I noticed is that these sheets come with names now. Uh, the other ones did not, so I'm going to actually take this one off. I did swatch some of these on my Instagram. The story's gone now, though. So this is the 3502 palette. The <laughs> these two colors right here are the ones that fully called to me, and I was like, I need that palette, because... Can't even swatch it on my hand really. Okay, let's do this. Look at that. That was one swipe. You saw, you saw that. Like that's incredible. Like absolutely incredible. So when I swatched that, I was like, "Woo, this was a good buy." So I am going to do a review on this one because it is a newer palette. But this is a mix of like shimmers and mattes, as you can tell. And I can't wait to actually play with them. Like, I wonder what that one looks like. So, I'm not, uh, but yeah, this is the 3502 palette, which I believe Jaclyn Hill, Jaclyn Hill actually had a hand in creating this palette. <laughs> and then, this is the reason for the whole order. This was another one where I was like, I don't need it. I'm good. Like, I, I just, 
I have enough makeup. And then I bought it. The Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I wasn't going to do it. I was like, it's Morphe. They've been iffy. And then everyone's like, I want to hate it, but I don't. And I love Jaclyn. So I was like, I'm going to get it. So I got it. I got this twice, guys. I got it sent it twice. Though they did just come out, I believe, saying this will be a permanent palette in their collection. So if you want it, you can get it now. But I don't want to get rid of this box. <laughs> okay. So, I found the difference. This one's like a white cardboardy color. This one's full out plastic. All the names are on the back. I believe this is the new packaging. All the names are on the back. Uh, this palette is dedicated to my loving subscribers. And this is the palette. I can't wait to play with this. I haven't even swatched it. It's taking all my effort not to. But I want to get some photos before I do swatch it. Um, but really, like, I'm so excited to play with it. And I, my, my mom and sister both were like, you can give this to me for Christmas. I was like, neither of you guys will use all the colors in here. I will, because you know me. I love to, like, play with my funky colors. But my sister doesn't really wear makeup, and when she does, it's very neutral. And then my mom is just very neutral anyways when she wears makeup. So I was like, I'm not wasting this palette on you guys. So this will be going into my giveaway. So that is all from my haul this time. And I do hope you enjoyed it. If so, give a thumbs up. Make sure you do subscribe to my channel because as I've been saying throughout this video, once I reach a certain number of subscribers, I will do a giveaway video. I don't know if I'll title it that on my YouTube, on my video, or if it's whoever watches it can enter. I don't know yet. I really don't. Sorry for the barking. My dogs are going insane right now. But yeah. Anyway, if you do want to see videos uh, of all these palettes, let me know. I will do some tutorials, some reviews, some swatches, whatever you guys want. Just let me know down below. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day and you stay warm if you're living in anywhere it gets cold during the winter. I'm going to stop babbling on and my throat hurts now. <laughs> Bye.